Okay. Um, what happened with Jenny on? Um, oh. <laughs> Things have been a little rough for everybody uh, for, for a while. And Jenny on, Jenny on, I think, was just in the, in the unfortunate edge of, of, of being in the wrong place at the wrong time and being standing a little too close to the shore. And they got kind of swept up in the, in the, big, in the big mess that, that is the current anime industry. Um, their shows were a little, I mean, like, they, they, they had their money in shows that were not, like, they, not a lot of A-list stuff. They were doing a lot of, like, what, 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 we, what we generously call, like, 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 fan shows where you have a niche market that specifically is in the movie. Pretty much kind of, yeah. Well, they, you don't want to call it B. I, like, I, I hesitate to call it B because it's, it's, it's not that it's, like, like it's, it, it's, it's just that it's very niche. It's just that it's, like, it's more like a cult following. Yeah, it's got a cult following. The shows are great, but, like, that like you're not going to, like, Neon Under 7 is not a show. Who here has seen Neon Under 7? Yeah. <laughs> who, who here has seen Helsing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they, had, they had too much Neon, not enough Helsing, is kind of what it came down to. Which is a shame, because, man, I love Neon Under 7. Um, and shows like that, Kami Shu, and, you know, stuff like that, where you're like, we're like, man, it's awesome that somebody's putting it out, and boy, don't they don't pay the bills. Uh, and they just, they got, they got swept under with, with things. I think it just finally, they, I think finally Japan decided that it wasn't in their best interest to maintain quite as much energy on, on, in the United States. So, Genion still exists, it's just, it's just their, the way that they do production house has changed drastically. Um, I know I have to go in a minute to answer as many of these as I can from my point. So, well, first, since you said voice correction was hard, I just want to say RTV TV is fantastic. Thank you. We're all very like. <laughs> and um, and uh, so secondly, in your commentary for the the DVDs of that, uh. you had mentioned that the the creators had given you some info. Were they just giving you some info up front, or were they kind of? Watching over you in the background. No, the, the nice thing by then is, is, is by the time I already came down, I had enough of a reputation that, that, that the Japanese creators were like like they they I, I don't I don't get a lot of oversight because they, they know I'm kind of got it I've got I've got it together I'm not I'm not going to miss anything. Um, no, there there was just I asked and I was like, is there anything that I should know that I may not that I you know, I may be a little too dense to pick up on or anything that I should or that that you guys didn't have. There, there are things in the show in Japanese they felt weren't clear enough, and they asked me to like clarify them a little bit, and, and I think we did. Um, some of the jokers' intentions they felt didn't quite come off as clearly, and, and, and what quite what I, I get a lot of flack for Yomiko being very emo and, and, and already the TV, and all I can think is, well, she was. I mean, she spent the entire she spent the all oh, the entire season not being Yomiko. She spent it being you know in a depression. You know, it wasn't until the very last episode that we actually get Yomiko back. Um. They, they keep, and that's they why keep it was horrible. Little, I, there, there are there are very quiet rumors of more ROD, and I keep hoping it will happen. But. Yes. Yay! Woo! More Yomiko. Uh, the, the creator every now and then, I, he, he was like, ah, I got an idea. I don't know, I got some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I know every every cast member still still, and including the original Read or Die OVA is also where I did the script adaptation for the original for the Read or Die OVA. I didn't direct it, uh, but uh, Amanda Winley directed it, uh, who was also the original Mystique. Hmm. Um, and my, my dream, if we ever get it back, is if we get two misdeeds. Because, you know, there are two misdeeds. Yeah. So have Carrie do one and do one. Amanda do the other one. Oh, okay. uh, Amanda do the evil one and Carrie do the other one. That would rock my world.